report here. This time it's the top 16 game that I had in the Team Covenant Galactic Cup. And I'm playing Muon here, and he is the creator of Vassal. So we owe him a lot of gratitude for allowing us to play this way. So big thank you Muon for this. Uh, you saw my previous game here as I won against Fildo. And Muon had to defeat no other than Mr. Paul Heber uh, to get to play me in this round. So uh, we'll see here what we can uh, play some amazing X-Wing here. The dials are down and we're more or less ready for the first turn here. Okay, so Muon is flying Poe Dameron uh, in the new X-Wing, the T-70. And he's got Predator, R5P9, uh, the one that gives you a shield back if you have a focus at the end of the turn. And Auto Thrusters. He's got Big Starklighter in the original X-Wing. And he's got Integrated Astromech, which is the card that comes out in Wave 8 with the T-70 X-Wing which lets you uh, throw away your droid to avoid the damage. And he's got R4D6, which is the droid that lets you remove damage, if you take a lot of damage, more than two, I think, and give you stress instead. So it gives Biggs a lot of survivability here. And finally, he's got Jake Farrell in the A-Wing, and he's got Push the Limit and Veteran Instinct. So he's got A-Wing Test Pilot, so he can have two EPTs. And then he's got Proton, proton Rockets, so he can hurt people in range one. And auto thrusters, and I'm still running uh, Dash Rendar uh, with the heavy laser cannon outrider title, Lone Wolf for the EPT, and anti pursuit lasers. And then I've got two Gold Squadron Y Wings with TLTs. Okay, so here my plan is to have uh, the, the Y Wings just go on the outside of the asteroids and deb debris there, and have Dash follow behind slowly. Uh, keeping the option to break away from my Y-Wings if I want to get Lone Wolf to work. Uh, and we've placed the debris in an asteroid there in a very nice diagonal, diagonal form there. Uh, I don't want to give him a straight line to get to me because I want to be able to shoot him at range and uh, make it difficult for him to reach me in my range 1 bubble here. And so uh, the first move here, I'm going to move my Y-Wings free straight. And then he's moving bigs here, he just slowly moves bigs, one forward. And then dash, a one bank to the left, slowly. Staying close to the Y-Wings, but not too close. Poe Dameron just moves up there. And Jake Farrell turns to the left. Uh, he's splitting up his forces here. Uh, being able to go on each side, depending on where I'm going with my ships. Because in the best world here, I get him to split his shots between my, my ships. So not, some of them are shooting at the Y-Wings and some of them are shooting at, at Dash. Uh, because if he concentrates and if he gets within range 1 with both Poe and Jake, he can kill my ships pretty fast here. So, let's see here. We got the dials for the next round. And soon that Muan is done and soon you'll have my dials as well here. There they are for the Y-Wings and dash. And here we go. So I'm going to move gold 1, 3 forward, slightly faster than gold 2 to make it easier if I want to cut in behind that rock to the left of them uh, to make sure they have more or less the same range instead of the one in the back being far behind. And Biggs is moving up, leapfrogging Poe. And I keep moving dash slightly behind the Y-wings. So Next turn, you know, I can always go either right, left, or just forward, uh, depending if I need to get closer or get more far away from the enemy ships here. And Poe moves up, staying within range one of Biggs, you know, flying formation with us too. And Jake takes turns to the right and boots a bit, getting into the field of debris and, and asteroids here. Jake is really, really quick here, you know, if you if you're not too careful here, he can do a quick move and a boost and a barrel roll to get really close to dash and I don't want him to be able to get into my range 1 here. So we're on to dials again and setting up round 3 and here we go. So I'm banking 2 to the left with both of my Y-wings 
you know, skirting on the outside of the debris asteroids here, making sure he needs to go through everything if he wants to go straight for my bubbles. He just moves slightly slowly forward there with bigs, and I turn dash away, making sure he can't go quick with Jake to get in range one of of my my outrider there. Poe he just heads up the edge of the board and Jake turns to the right, getting out of the asteroid and debris field again and bow rolling backwards to stay out of range, controlling the range. He wants to exchange at range 3 for his auto thrusters, or he wants to get really close so I can't shoot back at range 1. So uh, there's a lot of jockeying for position here. And here's the next round, I think. Yeah. So I'm banking in to the asteroid field here with my Y wings. One and a two bank to the left, staying close to each other. Bigs just goes ahead, and then I keep my dash behind my Y wings now. And he K turns Jake so he can go back into the asteroids, making sure he can get either way. He doesn't move all his ships on one side of the asteroid field here. So, still no shots and more jockeying for position here. I have the options here to go right or left with my Y wings and or slowly just forward and uh, I think I'm going to plan here to go to the outside. So I'm turning to the right. Oops, I turned that on the wrong way. Yeah, the outside, maybe catching Jake if he goes quick into the asteroid field, but way a lot of range of the X-wings. And Dash just slowly moves behind. Still has the option to follow behind the next turn or break away in the opposite direction to, to activate Lone Wolf. And he moves up Poe and Jake goes back to the left here, for where whence he came. Barrels back again, controlling range. So on to the next phase here, and here we can see my Y wings have planned for hard twos to the left there, closing the gap to Jake. And since Jake is not facing me, he'll have trouble getting into range one if he goes for me. And um, I think I'm going to split Dash away from the Y wings here, cutting to the left from Dash's position, you know, towards the X wings. Maybe get a few shots on them. Since there's a nice debris field right in between us right now. Because if I can have range 3 shots and I have Lone Wolf as well, Dash is pretty good at avoiding damage. We'll see if that's what I decided to do here. I think so, yeah. <coughs> so the Y wings are turn 2 again. Getting closer to Jake, taking focus, hoping to get a shot at. And Biggs moves up, closing the gap towards Dash. And Dash is hard turning there, right onto that one. And I'm going to barrel roll here to get that range 3, I hope. Adjusting so I don't land on the rock. Because Dash still can't shoot if he's on the rock in the combat phase. And then we have... Oh, who is doing a three bank to the left there, which means he's probably not having arc and dash. Uh, he's still sh protected by bigs though, so I need to shoot bigs. And uh, he decides to, to target lock me, yeah. And Jake is slowly turning into the astro field again here. And, uh, I was back for more range control here, so I think it's out of range for my Y wings here, thanks to that backwards barrel roll. And we'll see soon enough as we get into the shooting here. Yeah, no range, which means there will be no range for my Y wings either. And then it's Poe, and he has no range either. And then it's Dash, so I'm gonna have to have a range three on. Doesn't really matter since I have HLC, but range 3 on uh, Biggs. But it looks like there's no debris, so no extra defense die for either one of us. And so I get hit and the focus. I'm going to use Lone Wolf, checking, yeah, outside of range 2 from my other ships. And I get another hit, so two hits. And he blanks out, so two shields removed from Biggs. And now Biggs is going to. Return fire here, three versus three. So he gets hit, hit, crit, and I get blank, blank, focus. So 
I'm going to use Lone Wolf again here. We're rolling one of the blanks, and I get at least one evade, so two shields down on dash. And the Y Wings are out of range here, so another turn. Uh, let's see here. Um, so I'm thinking here. This, I think I had like three options here for dash. I can do go to the left from his point of view, so to speak, to keep range from Poe and um, Biggs. Probably be forced to shoot at Biggs again. I can go to the right, maybe a three bank to the right or a hard three to the right. Uh, if he's moving his X wings towards my Y wings, getting behind him and still having a nice chance. Or I could hard turn and then barrel backwards uh, in case he goes for for um, dash here with Poe by hard turning to the right and maybe block him so I can have anti pursuit lasers to damage him, maybe. And if I do that, my Y wings will also be able to have him in arc if I turn to the left with them. Um, I think turning to the left here with dash is probably not the one I want to do because he's going to be predictable next turn because he's getting close to the board edge. If I do a hard one to the right, barrel roll, try to block. Worst case scenario, only bigs can shoot at him. Maybe Jake if he goes really quick. Uh, so I think I'm going to do that. That's how I reasoned here. And we're going to see soon. So I'm going to set my Y wings for hard turns two toward Poe here. Uh, gambling that Poe is going after Dash since Dash is the probably the number one target for him here. And there I set my one hard for uh, Dash. So, oops, turning the wrong way, turning into the field with my Y wings and focusing for. For, uh, for, uh, for action here. And here I get a bit of luck because he's probably gambling on a hard turn three or a three bank, two bank with dash here to get behind him. So he tries to block me with bigs. And as we can see, I one hard turn, avoiding the bump, and then proceed to barrel forward, which means if Poe is turning to the right here, I'll bump him taking away his actions and maybe damaging him. And that's what he did. He did a too hard to the right, to running into me. And just setting him up there, which means you're going to lose his actions and my TLT Y wings will have a good shot here at uh, damaging Poe. But the anti pursuit laser roll is a focus, so no damage for um, the bump. And then Jake is turning to the right here, so I think he was anticipating me doing a three bank to the right with the dash here, uh, so he could set up and capture him with Jake as well. So and then he barrels out, trying to stay out of range for my TLTs, but I'm going to shoot Poe here if I have range either way. So no shot from Poe, but dash has to start here, so he's going to shoot uh, Biggs through the debris. So four versus three, and I get. Two hits and a focus. Uh, no long wolf because I'm in range two of my, my Y wings. And he gets two natural evades, so big stays safe. And then it's my Y wings turn, and as we can see, I can shoot at either Jake or Poe here, but I'm going to shoot Poe because he's actionless and has one less defense die. So three hits from the first attack, and he blanks out. So even if he had a, he has auto thrusters here, it doesn't help him. So one shield, and the second one is focus, focus, blank. So I'm going to use my focus token, and he gets blank and two focuses, which means he gets auto thrusters for one. And that's not enough. So uh, one more shield, and then the other one is going to go gold two here. Same thing. And this time it's the range two in arc, so there's no under there no auto thrusters. So hit crit, and he gets focus evade. And since he doesn't have a focus, he goes through. So the last shield is gone. And my final TLT shot here is hit hit focus, and I'm going to use my focus for three hits. And he can't avoid that since he only has two evade dice here, so he doesn't even roll. So that was a very very good turn for me, uh, guessing right in the way he was moving Poe. So we're moving on then and getting up for round 8 here. So 
I'm just going to slowly move my Y wings here on banks with the first one. And thinking here that I want to make sure my dash stands still in case he's slow rolled with Poe here. So I want to block my own movement. And then the other Y wing just follows up behind. Uh, Bigs, hard turn is two, and just clips the debris field but takes no damage from it. He's just actionless and stressed. And I do hard turn one with the dash, which means I'm not going to move anywhere because there's no room. And then he does a three bank to the right with Poe, which means I have no shot on him with the dash because he's in my bubble, but both of my Y wings will still be able to shoot TLTs on him. And uh, let's see, this is Jake doing the Two straight here, staying out of range from the TLTs, and then boosting and barrel rolling, just trying to stay away for now to make sure Dash can't shoot him. Um, let's see, so I'm shooting at Biggs here, and there's no debris, so I get crit focus, crit focus, and I have no actions, so just two hits, and he blanks again. Two or three blanks for um, Biggs, and he's going to use the integrated astromech upgrade to throw away his droid to avoid one of the damages, one of the damage cards. So one hit goes through, and then I'm going to TLT here with goal one, range three on Poe, so he's got focus and auto thrusters. So I get two hits, spending my focus. And he gets blank focus, which means he can auto thrust for one and use Poe's ability for the other one. And the second TLT shot is three natural hits. And since he's range two, he when he was range three from that one, he can't he can't he, only, he can't get three evades with him as he dies. Uh, so one more hit. So he's down to his last hit point here. And so then we're gonna do the second gold squadron here, hit focus blank, using my focus for two hits. And he rolls focus evade, uses his ability to be safe. And the final attack here is just one hit for me, but he blanks out. And this Y wing is at range two in arc, so no auto thrusters. So Poe explodes. And then we're moving on to the next turn here. So um, now I'm just going to make sure I can keep Dash away from Jake, so Jake can't get in range 1 here, and hopefully my Y-Wings can finish off Poe, or uh, Biggs I mean. So I'm hard turning to the left with one Y, and just one banking with the other. And Biggs is hard turning in behind me, um, and I'm just going to bump with uh, my uh, death, uh, the Outrider here. So he goes, hits the Y wing, and which means he's not within range one of Biggs. So I can use my HLC at Biggs unless if Jake stays out of range. And Jake hard turns towards me and focus, checks target lock, and he acquires one on dash. And then he can barrel roll from the focus action. And then we're going to shoot. So Jake is going to shoot him first here because he's still in range. So one hit, and he keeps it there, and uh, dash avoids with two natural evades. And then we're going to check here. So I decide to target Biggs because I'm going to focus fire here. I want to take the two last whole lot of Biggs here as well. So hit, crit, and two eyeballs, which means two hits. And he blanks for a third time with Biggs, which means he goes boom, and the Y-Wings will have no targets. So we're going to move into the end game here as we have all of my ships almost unscathed. It's just uh, some shields out of Dash here, and he's got the full, fully healthy Jake. So I'm just going to move here. Let's see. I'm going to K turn the far Y wing here, setting up for head on approach to Jake next turn. The other one bumps Dash, and then Dash three banks away from Jake here. I don't want to risk him moving and then be able to boost into range one. And I'm going to barrel roll as well to get as far away as possible before I turn around. And he slowly goes to forward with Jake, wanting to be able to control the range of the engagement here. So he's got the range 3 shot on my Y wing. He gets one hit. And I get an evade. 
and then I got TLT back, two hits, auto thrusters for evade, and one hit, and auto thrusters for evade again, so Jake is safe. So we're going to move up to the next turn here, we're thinking on dials here, so I'm going to clear stress with this stress Y-wing and move my ships to converge on Jake here. So two forward, removing stress, too hard towards Jake. Maybe I can bump him if he does a two bank or something there. And I require a target lock on him. And I hard turn with uh, Dash to get him behind Jake here. And, but Jake is going the other way, he's banking to the right. Which means there's no shot from anyone since he's in range one for my gold. Or well, actually number two had him in range through a debris field. Uh, but that's pretty futile as Jake easily dodges all of that. Let's see here then. So I'm going to move my Y wing, chasing Jake here, one of them, and the other one is going just straight at him, also acquiring a target lock. And Dash tries to go up behind him and also acquiring a target lock on Jake. And Jake hard turns two to the left here. And then he can boost to get inside my bubble, but he will still be taking my primary shot here. So he starts three, and we got hit, hit, crit, and I get nothing, so shields down on the gold two. And then we're gonna have some return fire here. Dash is shooting HLC through a debris, so three hits, and we're gonna use Lone Wolf for four hits. Uh, but Jake gets two evades and two blanks, so he can auto thruster one and spend his evade token for the other one to stay safe. And then I have my uh, primary attack, which with the gold two there, so just one crit using my target lock for nothing, and Jake easily avoids. And then we have gold one, TLT shots, two hits, and with auto thrusters, he's gonna. I'm going to use my target lock, three hits, two avoid, two evades, and auto thrusters, so Jake is safe. And then we have one more shot, two hits, and two evades. So no damage on Jake here, he's very elusive, very hard to hit. The best option here for me is try to make sure he bumps me, uh, dash, preferably, maybe AP and to pursue later damage, and then shoot him with the TLT. It's the same way I did with Poe, but it can be tricky because Jake is very elusive. So I keep falling behind Jake with one gold. And the other one bumps into him here. And Dash just moves on, trying to get in here. I'm gonna, my plan is here to have him behind my Y-wings. Lead with the Y-wings now. And Jake moves out of range. Then hopefully we can uh, catch him next turn here on the next approach. So I'm going to turn to the left here with goal two, and the other one banks in just behind him. And one hard with dash. And Jake moves on, too hard. Tokens up and boosts. And then back to dials again, and hard turn two outside of the asteroid with one, and the other one banks in beneath it, and I one hard turn with dash here, so trying to catch Jake here, no matter where he goes, and he turns back up, and barrels backwards for range control, so he's got shot at my gold one, he gets one hit, and I get one evade, so he's safe, and then I can TLT back, one hit, easily avoided, Three hits with focus, and he spends his focus to avoid that. So in, if I'm going to kill Jake, I'm going to have to have at least two ships, preferably all three, shooting at him. So we're moving on here, and then we're going to try to converge on him, making it easier, trying to make sure he can bump or boost past me. So one bank, straight ahead, and a two bank towards Jake here, focusing, so I have focus on both, I'm going to do target lock here, 
and then I'll just go one straight with dash and parallel backwards to make sure J can't get in range one, hopefully here. He's, he does a three straight forward and right now I think he can boost to get past that Y wing and then he just might be able to barrel roll to the right and forward and if he can do that he'll be in range one of dash and that'll be bad and that's what he's going for here he's boosting and it fits and then he's going to try to do the barrel roll and uh, fortunately for me it doesn't fit it will clip the Y wing there so he has to stay right there and he shoots first here, but this means I have range 2 in arc with a dash, which means no auto thrusters, and he only has 3 evade dice versus my 4 attack dice. So he gets 2 hits, and I get 2 natural evades, so, so I was really lucky there. And then he's going to return fire, so he get, I get a 2 hits and a focus action, or a focus eye, and I'm going to use my target lock, and I get 4 hits. So he gets one evade, and he uses his token as well for two, so I take the shields down from Jake here. And then we're moving on here, so now I'm going to have to make sure that either Jake bumps me, or he gets past me without any possibility to turn around or barrel roll to get me an arc. So I'm going to K-turn both of my Y-Wing, and I'm just going to slow-mo one straight with dash. Which means if Jake hard turns, he'll bump, or if he banks, he will not be able to get me an arc. And he's banking. So uh, we're going to barrel rolls to avoid the debris. And he's still in range 1, so my HLC can't shoot him. So, new turn here. So, slowly going to move my Y wings here. And to get rid of their stress. That guy bumps, but he still loses his stress, and just enough room for a 4k with dash. And he just heads away here with Jake, barrel roll and boost to control the range again. He wants range 3 and then range 1 in the next approach. He does not want range 2. So I'm just moving my Y wings here and slowly moving dash up behind them. And he hard turns, and he's got range 3 and one Y wing and nothing else. So, this is exactly what he wants because this is the exchange he can win. And I have to spend my focus to be safe. And then I'm going to TLT him back. So, one hit, which he avoids, and two hits, which he avoids. And um, setting up for the next turn here. And this is like if he's going in between those debris. Hopefully, I can you know, have him bump or something. We'll see. Um, as you can see, I'm turning one Y wing away and the other one down towards Jake. And I'm just going to run straight forward with dash, hoping to, to be able to catch a bump, maybe. So two to the left, just one bank, and full speed ahead, and barrel rolling with dash here, yeah. Trying to get the right distance there between me and Jake, but he was anticipating that, and banks to the left. So, I'm, and then he boosts to get out of, out of arc or out of range here from the top Y wing, perhaps. So, no, he's just in range, but there's a debris field and auto thrusters, so three hits for my, and he blanks out almost, which means he can use auto thrusters for one and focus for one and add one from his token and still safe, but now he spent all his tokens. And then I get another lucky hit there with three ones. And he gets two eyes and an evade, which is not enough. So one more hit point off of Jake there. And then my final Y wing here. So two hits and a focus, and I'm spending the focus. And he gets four natural evades. And second, he's just one focus. And I'm going to use my target lock, and I get two hits. And he gets one evade, and he can use auto thrusters to be safe. So that was that turn. Uh, but Muan decides to concede to me here, uh, and I think there is no real way for him to win this game because I will try not to ever put Dash in, re in, in risk of being in range 1 from Jake here. And sooner or later, a TLT shot will just sneak through here. So thank you for the game, Muan, and especially thank you for the amazing work he's done on 
the vassal module, so we can play X-Wing like this. And uh, thank you for watching.